I'm Alex de Betac and I uh, design and direct and produce with my company Bro Betac the show for H&M. Three weeks ago, we moved in the Musée Rodin with great pleasure. We started building a tent. Um, we built a gigantic tent for the show. We built another gigantic tent for the hair and makeup and backstage and prop room and then kitchens and all that. They wanted for the first time in many, many years to show H&M's designs, proper designs, not the collaboration with a fashion designer like we have done for many years but to show what the collection, the H&M collection on its own could stand for. What mattered for me the most is to respect the DNA of the brand. The DNA of the brand is to make accessible high design in general, and specifically in that collection it makes accessible a style which is very young yet very sophisticated. And we saw that nowhere better than Paris can you express sophistication at a very young age based on the culture and based on the roots and of the history of the city and the fashion of the city. The concept of the fashion show was to do a show that has got a mix of more humor and more interaction and more originality than most shows. So we decided to basically enter the universe of that woman we're creating and enter a house. And the entire show will take place in a progression of rooms, such as the rooms would be in a very large, amazingly beautiful apartment. It's actually quite crazy. It's, it's gigantic. We're basically building a 1,200 square meter apartment in the middle of the gardens of Rodin. I met with the design team and they're all great and we set up shopping dates and we went shopping for inspiration and sort of devised a girl that we thought would be credible to H&M and the kind of girl that we think is cool and also the kind of girl that I think does wear H&M and to do a show about showing attitudes of the way that young girls wear clothes um, in the coolest way possible, hopefully. Our casting board is probably the most important girls of the Paris season. And they all look, to me, like a gang of friends, which I like. The casting is quite particular at H&M. We always try to use girls which have both a lot of personality and a little more mix than maybe we sometimes do in other shows. Have you seen it? The girls went to see it. I mean, I haven't seen anything. They've We're fitting for the show, so all of the girls are coming in to try their looks on. Ah, oh, on time, everyone. Hello, beautiful. Hello. It's very exciting when the girls come in because you see the clothes come to life. And that's my favorite part of the process, is when you actually see the girls and their looks. I love that. We'll do it later. We'll do it when we see it walk. I just want to see it walk to see what happens. Okay. No, it's okay. I just want to see what happens. The dress is doing that now because it has all the pins in it. I think you need to close the dress and then do pockets here. Well, basically, the collection is comprised of what I think are like cool things that every girl has to have in her wardrobe. And then we'll do pockets here. and It's cooler, I think. Now all is left to do is to move the collection to the venue and have a show. Well, welcome to the H&M Hotel Particulier of Paris for the night. <laughs> yes, you know. People will be invited to come into the entrance of the apartment. It is a grand apartment that you can ring in and um, when you walk in here, we're in the entrance of the apartment, it's already the start of the show. It's very, very different. I mean, in fact, it's a show that's not a show. It's a very intimate, much less pretentious, and much more fun, and somewhat much more glamorous than a normal show. The concept is the guests will be sitting and spread out all throughout the entire apartment. 
from the beginning to end into the most surreal and weird places to be seated into for a fashion show. That's one of the great ones. It's the kids room. And again, whenever have you sat in a fashion show on a kid's bed, which you will, I mean, people will be sitting precisely on the kid's bed and as everywhere on the furniture. So this is a kid's room. It's a very futuristic kid. He wants to go on the moon, he's right. I believe now it's one and a half hour until the people arrive. Ding, ding. <laughs> Well, the collection is, uh, we call it modern drama, with a bit of tailoring and uniform inspiration. And there's also a certain tomboy spirit there. Uh, we want it to be, you know, like effortless and cool, and it should be a bit of attitude. To get dressed, let's go! When you're in a small room with people, you can kind of connect with them, and you can, you know, just play it off, and like look at them, and you can stop and look around. But here, it's like, you know, it's, it's an environment, so you can play off that. You know, just have, just have fun. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for all this. We know it's complicated. Ultimately, it's going to be amazing. And it's for you and them to have a great show. To make it fun, to make it happy, to make it smiley, to make it really relaxed. And again, remember, keep your distance. Thank you. Quick, everybody, everybody away, please. Go, 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 go. You go now. Everybody in the back. Go, go, go. Guys, guys, guys. We need the girls closer. I need a feeling. Hey, don't go, go, go.